action. Right. Hey, this is Tommy Tellerico, CEO of Intellivision. I'm here with my good friend Finn from Chicken Waffle. Chicken Waffle. Chicken Waffle. Well, I guess one of your most famous things is baby hands, right? Which is crazy. You gotta check this out. But Finn is one of the biggest Earthworm Gym fans on the planet. That's not true though, because you said your younger brother. Yeah, Connor. He's a, he's a voice actor and, and also just the, the biggest Earthworm Gym fan, I think. Um, and so, yeah, so I backed uh, Doug's, Doug's Indiegogo campaign. For, and the, took, for the Earthworm Gym comic book, and it's arrived. New. And we Ooh. were like, let's do an unboxing together, because I haven't opened this either. Yeah. And, and this I, is yours. This I, is yours. This is his, because I'm not going to open mine, but oh, we'll tear his open. You're keeping yours mint in the box. You're opening your younger brother. Still teasing your brother 30 years down the road. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right. So I think, well, yeah. first of all, we got to talk about the box itself. This is a phenomenal box. Yeah. And there's a cow. <laughs> Just, uh, just got Peter phenomenal artwork. Even the box itself is Earthworm Jim branded. I love it. I love it. Yeah, try, try not like. I mean, to to, to tear this thing open is almost wrong. Right. Well, but let's do it. Let's do it. That's why we're here. Okay. So uh, the first. And thing. it didn't tear open. I thought I just was so delicate. I was worried that it was gonna like glue and tear open. So. It tear up and you're able to open your comic books. That's right. So the first thing he says, get on the mailing list at earthwormgymcomic.com. So right off the bat, you're hit with marketing. We love that. <laughs> Just so everyone out there knows. Gosh, we can't say this publicly, but let's just say that Chicken Waffle and Intellivision Amico and Earthworm Jim <laughs> How about we'll leave it at that? Now, look at this crew, this groovy, groovy Earthworm Jim patch. I, uh, this, could, this could go on anywhere. That is awesome. Isn't that, look at the quality, though. The quality is on the Bigfoot Bill, which is another character that, that uh, Doug put together. Look at this beauty, though. Wow. Look at this. I'm just glad I get to, like, read it and not have to ruin my own. Oh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. Wow. On the rocket with Princess What's Her Name, Psycho in the background. It's awesome artwork. We got uh, another look at all these prints. So oh, yeah. this, this is funny. I thought this was fun. You can actually put, put together a little paper Earthworm Jim action figure. Yeah, he might just get the comic book. He, he might, he might just all this it. stuff might end up in the studio. <laughs> a double sided poster. So, so that's one side. But are you ready? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. There you go. On one side, the smiling cow. David Perry actually has that original painting wow. that we had made. It's like about this big, and he has it. So he gave it to Doug so he could That's, scan it in. You know, I mean, you know, you look back at some of the video games that really defined the industry. Uh, Earthworm Jim was one of those games that, and Earthworm Jim 2, of course, uh, was one of those games that, like, you know, I, I probably lost months of my my teenage youth <laughs> into trying to complete the you know the, the and games. maybe that was the reason you're doing video games now. I, I, I really I, I truly believe that like uh, one of the most influential games to me as a game developer has been Earthworm Jim because a lot of times we'll look at like things that with either it's, it's a platforming puzzle or a way that the game transitions into one gameplay mode to the next or it's just the way the audio is just you know. But the fact was is that that game did it right. And you know so, what's interesting is that we never really had a game design doctor. Like all, <laughs> all, it's like that famous line from, one of my favorite lines from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is when they're like, Indy, it's just got on a truck and what are you going to do now? And it's like, I don't know, we're making this stuff as I go along. Yeah. I don't know, I'm making this up as I go. Why aren't more games more humorous? And the reason is, I think, a lot of times they make a game and then they try to come up with jokes. Right. For us, it was the exact opposite. It was 10 people in a room together trying to make each other laugh, say, what, what, wouldn't it be fun? I, I got an idea. Wouldn't it be funny if there was a cow and, and, and you, you shot the, 
refrigerator and it launched it like somebody said that i don't remember who exactly but and we launched the cow and then you just saw the cow, cow launched. and it was just that wouldn't that be hilarious and then we built that into the game so we started with the joke first the joke was funny and then we made the game around it kind of thing, you know That's and so many people do it the opposite way. we we've often referenced Earth, earthworm gym and earthworm gym 2 for like i say different things like the, the transitional element, like how the, the gameplay changes completely right. and, and just flips you a 180 and yet then pulls you even deeper into it. And that's what we're doing, that's what we're focusing on on the Amico version is that we want to have, uh, we're starting with the joke first or the the idea first and then we're building it around. So people are like expecting that this is going to be, oh it's going to be another platform game. No, that's what we did 25 years ago because that's kind of what we were, that's what you could do with a Genesis controller. Right. You couldn't really do. But now with the Amico controller, you have a speaker, a microphone, for, uh, you know, gyroscope, accelerometer, touch screen, and we want it to be couch co-op. Well now, you think we're going to do another just 2D side-scrolling platform game? You've got to be out of your mind nuts. So let's you know, check this like UV spotted. This is just the making of Earthworm Jam. So this is making of the game. Look, look at this amazing spot you made. This is impressive. I mean, I'm seeing this for the first time. Oh, yeah. I haven't. Look at Evil wow. the Cat. There. It's really it's quality. Fun. You know, I think it's it's worth noting that. Here, you open it. Look wow. at that. Oh, wow. Look at this. It, wait, you, didn't, you usually don't spot you be the inside cover. Very rare. So they, yeah, they did a Indiegogo campaign earlier this year uh, to create the backstory and uh, comic book and making of Earthworm Jim. Let me see if there's pictures of me in here. I'm going to be I'm and you know, be like a narcissist. The cool me. thing was is that so I, of course I jumped right in and, and got the back. I actually got the double backing so that I could uh, you got the, so, so you I could get one for my brother. You know what I mean? So that we could open uh, it. In front and of and them. now I'm glad because I'm going to open this are. one and probably covet my own on a on a shelf in the studio. There's a picture of the team. This is when we got together last year to just uh, start designing the new uh, the new game. So that was a that was the team getting back together there after 25 years. It's cool because they they hit every stretch goal. Oh, he talks about and so team. as the as the stretch goals hit, the book got upgraded. Yeah. So now you're gonna you're they're gonna they're gonna it was originally a soft cover I think, and yeah, then, oh, and then it hit the stretch goal to its hard map, and now it's UV spot. I mean it's it hit every stretch goal. And this is all Doug just kind of doing his own versions of who we are. Because so again, I haven't read this yet. You might say nasty things about me. I've not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is all great. I mean, well, the, the, the production quality of this book, as Mike well as Mike Deeds is our he's our head in television. He's our art director for the whole company. So yeah, we got a lot of that. So that's, that's a whole reach. book about the making of the game. This is what this is the thing though. And look, feel this. I've never seen a, a book, a graphic novel, as high quality as this. This you, is. I want you to open it first. Look, even the gold. Look at the gold on the pages. This is phenomenal. Have you ever seen anything wow. that beautiful? I have. This is. This is the coolest thing I own. Open it up. Open it up. I own a lot of weird shit. I mean, oh, are nice. You me? Nice. It's got like embossed foil. foil. Just, it's the greatest. <laughs> Look at the, there's like a scan of sketch. The it's probably, gym. Maybe his daughter did that. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Old napkin design. Yeah. Oh, and it's a fold out. Wow. Feels like this handwritten yeah. verse is just and to it's me. all spot you need to. Welcome to the Earthworm Gym Saga. The artwork is just phenomenal. I'm trying my best not to rip all the pages. I have a surprise for you now. Okay. You guys still got to open the card. Um, so, I can't show this to everybody, but I'm going to show it to you really quick. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're literally the first person outside of in television to see this. And I want to get your reaction. Okay. You haven't seen this. I haven't shown you. I just want to show you something. It's, it's really quick. But okay. That's so good. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's, yeah, that's... Would you like to play that game? 
It's the evolution. It's the next Earthworm Jim. There you go. That's awesome. Anyway, a little, little, That's little, awesome. Little tease. Man. Here, open the card. Professor for Monkey there. Forehead. Let's see what you got. All right. I'll sign the making of book because I'm in this one. Okay. Well, you open the cards. <laughs> we got a little funny little goofy right here. <laughs> uh, where do you want me to sign it? How about right there? Right there, next to the yeah. There's a little <laughs> audio thing for you there. Groovy. Groovy. And what'd you get? I got an Earthworm Jim sticker. Looks okay. like a temporary tattoo. Yeah. Oh right. yeah. Temporary Earthworm Jim tattoo that you should just go ahead and get as a permanent one. And uh, I got Princess What's Her Name. Okay. That's good. Tearing it up, okay. shooting a gun full of bees. What else? I is it a signed Mike Deeds? Oh, man, it's a well it's Mike Deeds oh, background and it's a hologram. Card. No, no. This is a lenticular car. <laughs> this, they, I always, they, I, I love the word lenticular, and 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 they hear me say it way too often. So this, this is a lenticular car. I got to say it three times today. Perfect. That is all right. We're gonna open the cards. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank and, you so uh, much, Tommy. Thanks. Groovy. Thank you.